Welcome, this is Melinda Barlow, CZT, Certified Centangle Teacher, and today's lesson is Embedded Letters. And Maria did a kitchen table tangle on this about a year ago, and then she reintroduced it um, this December, and I just kind of went crazy with it. You can see I did a couple of simple letters here, but what I went crazy with was I, um, I made some little envelopes and inside the envelopes I, I put some um, money in for my grandkids and um, I had asked them to, I had given them a book and asked them to read the book and when they read the book then they got uh, money and on the back of it it says you can change the world and um, but I just embedded each one of their names I drew their names on each one of these little envelopes and the book, just so that you know, was um, Make Your Bed, and I can't remember, Admiral Craven, I, I'm not sure what his name is, but fabulous book. And, um, but my children, some of my grandchildren have read it, and obviously you can see some have not, because they haven't picked up their money yet. And um, so you can see I have Nicholas and Emily and Sadie, and Brandon, and William, and Benjamin, and Whitney, and Amy, and Derek, and Corinne, and Connor, and those are the ones that have not picked up their money yet, so um, they haven't read the book, they have to read the book and then write me a little um, synopsis of what they learned. I know it's crazy. I did it for Christmas, kind of a crazy Christmas gift, but the ones that have done it have really enjoyed it. So we're going to learn about embedded letters, and I'm going to just do some. Um, I'm going to do one on a round tile just to show you, and then I'll do um, a name so you can see how I did the name. And when I do the name, I am going to do it on a little darker. Um, paper. I'm going to do it on the same brown paper that I made the envelopes. But um, let's start out with an M. And I'm using an apprentice pen because I can get a little um, thicker line with it. So I'm just going to make an M. And I say thicker line and this one seems to be out of ink. So let me change over. And I just draw an, an M. And then I'm going to thicken it up. So I'm going to widen out. My letter. So I just kind of fill it in. Now let me come in a little bit on this. So you can see it a little bit better. And... Um, and I've just filled it in with this, I call the Apprentice Pen, it's an 05, has a, a plastic tip, and, and we can give these a little bit more, I said I want to give them just a little bit more style, so I square off that end, and, um, and now I'm going to take my, um, a one pen and I'm going to just aura so I just aura just do a an aura all around the M and now I'm going to come back and I'm just going to add some embellishments and some of my favorite embellishment would be A little I call them fescues so it has just a little swirl and if you look up fescue you'll see that it's just you know a grass but I like just give it a little swirl and I'm gonna do another one I'm not gonna spiral in I'm just going to give it just a little bit of a swirl so we're gonna come and we're gonna do that on and give it some weight 
and I can come up off the top and give it, I could come down here on the bottom. You know, anywhere I want, I can just come out with this with a little bit of swirl on it. And now I'm going to come back and I'm going to aura this whole thing again. And when Maria did it, she embedded her little letters into her tangles. But I wanted just to have like a little monogram. So I could call them embellished uh, tangles, embellished letters, or embedded. And we're just embellishing your own handwriting. You don't have to have a stencil or anything you can just use your own your own handwriting and you'd be surprised how well you can embellish your own handwriting so we did a little um, a aura around it and then we can come back and we can give them some little weight in the corners some extra color so I'm just going to round off different areas where I can just round off and give it a little bit more weight and uh, and I can maybe I'll do another one oh I I'm just gonna do some um, kind of wild looking mooka in here I love to do orbs so orbs fill up, especially if you are feeling a little stressed. And I, I thought my mooka was a little wild, so that kind of stressed me a little bit. I can, I can also give round this part right here and give the whole thing another aura. Love doing auras. I believe that it's just very relaxing and it embellishes things so quickly and um, takes out. And if anyone knows, I love circles. So if I can um, add circles or perfs in something I will I just love it so here we have a very simple embedded or uh, embellished letter so now to show you what I did uh, oh we should go in and we can give it a little shading Just give it a little shading that helps it so we'll set that aside and now I'm going to just show what I did on the brown how I did um, a the names on my um, on my little um, money envelopes that I did so we'll just do Amy just so that you can kind of see there it's a symbol So there we have Amy, and we're going to thicken up the lines a little. And I'm using, again, I'm using the Apprentice pen or a, a PN pen. Anything that has, that, has a little um, thicker tip. And we're just going to slightly thicken up the letters in her name, too.
So we just thickened up those those letters a little bit. And then again, we're going to Aura. And, and I'm just going to use my apprentice pen in Aura. And I'm also going to Aura. And as I Aura this, I can see some places that I think I want to thicken up a little. So now we have the whole thing ordered. So now we can come in and we can enhance this A. And we're just going to add some little spirals or little, what I call little fescues. Give it a little weight. And I'm not really, you know, particular about this one, the weight was a little heavy. I, I might go back and, and make those a little heavier on some of those spaces. And now I'm going to Aura. And now I want to give it some weight in some of those corners. So I could come in here and weight those corners. Or round them off. And I can do the inside. And Aura again. I can add my little circles or orbs. And one thing I love to do on the brown is I can take my white jelly roll and I can do a little um, oaring around that. I could come back in and add some highlights with my pen and just give it some highlights. And, and that's what I did on, on the little name. So very fun little project of embedded letters or embellished letters. I hope you give it a try. I had a great time. I had a great time making all the fun uh, envelopes with for my grandkids and some very simple, just a great time. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And um, I have to apologize right now because I always say there's new videos on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And during the holidays, I've been a little slack. And um, so I haven't videoed as much as I should. But hopefully I'll get back on track. And thanks again for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. And hope you enjoy um, the embellished or embedded letters. Thanks again and have a great day.